for it to click the analyze button, which analyze how the image was brought at first place. Uh, the system then does a heavy lifting under the hood, which uh, involves some intensive computation that I, I won't try to explain here. Uh, the output of this step is something we call a blur kernel, which you will see in a moment. This is a kind of slow computer. Oh, no, here it is. Uh, the, it's essentially a grayscale image showing how the image was blurred. Formally, it's called point spray function. But you can also view it as a, a motion trajectory of the camera when the shutter was open. Uh, so the next, next thing to do is to use it to restore sharp image. And here it is. Wow. Another preview window, which allows you to preview local uh, results uh, to see if it is good. And here it is. Wow! wow. So you can, you can see. Can we? Who's the boss here? Who's in charge of all this? Oh, it was you. You two guys. You should do this. It, it's bad. So let's see if we can improve it. Uh, uh, because this is a relatively small image, so I'm just gonna uh, still I need to load some parameters. Okay, okay I'm just gonna uh, analyze this image, which should be pretty fast, and restore it. So you can see it's much better. Wow. Uh, so this is the Thank you very much. Thank you. Wow.